This is an absolutely stellar collection of product design resources that I have to share with you because it is only the good stuff. Over at productdesign.cool, my friend Ozan has put together an amazing collection of UX and UI resources that are categorized and organized and very easy to search. In the learning category, you'll see a collection of curated educational resources, design principles, best practices. There are guidelines, there are templates that are really useful and all of these things that will help you learning the process and the workflow of UX UI design and just generally resources to help you understand new concepts and dive deeper into areas that you are learning and you're working in. For example, goodpractices.design is just guidelines and naming conventions for when you're structuring your components and your files and setting up your design documentation and components. So all of those things like how to structure the logic and the component names and the semantics for your files and design systems. Another great one is neurodiversity design systems. This is great to inform you about different accessibility needs and different neurodivergent needs and how you can apply those to your designs. You'll also notice our resource at Designer up here with a bunch of free lessons and crash courses. And you can go through here and watch our crash course if you're new to product design, if you wanna dive deeper into UI design, and these are all completely free here and they include notes and resources in each of these lessons for you as well. In the UX section, there are lots of UX templates as well as great SaaS products and solutions to kind of help us with research and prototyping and getting user feedback and doing user testing. One of my favorites is UX Tweak and I'm going to be doing a full video review soon on how you can use UX Tweak to do usability studies to run mobile testing, website testing, prototype testing, and you can even recruit participants for your studies and tests. And this makes it a very valuable platform to help us improve our user experiences through the use of data. You'll also notice designer size and sharp design, which are great UX prompt generators for doing whiteboard exercises and creating case studies for your portfolio. These are two that we've been using in our design course for a long time, and they're really wonderful. Did you know that I teach a course on product design? It's actually the most comprehensive and affordable course of its kind. I would love for you to join us and you can learn more about it in the link in the description. Okay, back to the video. Checklist.design is another. It's very handy for making sure that you're designing all of the empty states and all of the things you need for the common pages, elements, and components in your flows and designs. Over in the UI section, this is the place to find all of the very cool design assets, media, graphics, plugins, all the stuff that we need to make things look really beautiful. There are also some really handy generator tools to create patterns and grids and mockups and all sorts of graphical design elements. The design system section has a lot of valuable deep dives for setting up a design system, how to name things, how to document things, how to do a design system audit. One of my favorites that I've covered on this channel before is the Design System Guide by Romina Kovsik. This is a must read because it's a step-by-step -step interactive handbook that takes you through how to name things, how to do an audit, how to create design tokens, and how to get adoption for your design system. It really holds your hand and walks you through it step-by-step. -step. Over in the design resources section, you can sort by Figma and find some really, really nice Figma files, plugins, UI kits, things that are very useful in creating the user interface. And you can also switch to a table view up here so that you can search for something specific that you're looking for and just kind of browse more quickly, you know, search for what you need for your project. There are also um, wonderful font collections, stock photo resources, daily inspiration for your portfolio, for website design and mobile design inspiration. There's also a list of job boards here, most of which are remote positions. There are some great Notion templates. Ours are here as well, and you can see that we've got templates that are entire workspaces for product designers and UX repositories to hold all of your research, as well as template packs for your portfolio that you can build on Notion really easily in one click. And there are full case study templates here so that you know how to lay everything out and present your UX UI case studies in the best light possible. And our UI and UX design checklists are free right now, so you should definitely go and pick those up. 
Ozon, being a seasoned product designer himself, has handpicked and curated all of these resources. So you know that they're gonna be useful in everyday work and for all of the things that we're trying to do as professional UX, UI, and product designers. So I highly recommend that you check this site out and be sure to buy Ozon a coffee and thank him for putting together this amazing resource for designers like us. Thank you.